Hi there, my name is Jeremy Gertis, and I'm here today to talk to you just a little bit about styling Google's Ajax Search API's default search control. In order to do this, we're going to need to know, need to know a number of things about the control, including its uh, HTML structure uh, and tag names and class names that are inside there. Uh, the easiest way to find all of that information is to use the Mozilla Firefox browser with the Firebug add-in installed. Once you have Firebug installed, you can go down to the lower right hand corner of your Firefox window and you see that I would have loaded in my window the basic Hello World example uh, for the Ajax Search API, or API and uh, you click on the little bug icon down here. Once that window appears, you can see the overall structure of the entire page. Uh, for instance, here is the top of it, including the HTML document type uh, uh, declaration. Here's the body, and here's the element that controls the entire uh, search control. Now, as you mouse over the things in the Firebug window down at the bottom, in the main window up on top, the items will be highlighted so that you can tell exactly what you're dealing with. For instance, this particular is the containing element for the entire control. Inside it, the control builds this, a div with a class name of gsc-control. And inside that, there are two major parts that really comprise the inner workings of the control. A form, which is your standard G search form, and a results box, which contains everything else, just like the class name would seem to indicate. What's really nice about Firefox is that not only can you see the structure of it, but if you highlight a particular element here, on the right hand side of it, we're going to go with one of the results box, and go a little bit deeper in to a results header, which would be the, uh, the uh, title for a particular searcher up here. In this particular case, it's the local searcher that's at the top of the page. Once we have that selected, we can go over here to the right hand side of the screen and we can see the styles that are already applied to that particular element, including the selector and if we go all the way over here, where it came from in the cascading style sheets already assigned to the page. Here are the different rules that it sees. We can even change them if we want. For instance, we want to have a 10 pixel border instead of a 1 pixel and you can see the difference above in real time. Now that we've seen how to figure out the general structure, let's say we have a particular element that we want to, we want to address and restyle for ourselves. For instance, one of the things that people often ask in the group is how do we make it so that the, the uh, description disappears so that all we can see is the title and the URL. Well, very simply, all you have to do is bring your mouse up and right click on the description of a particular result, go down in the menu and select inspect element. Now you can come down here and you can see that there are a number of styles applied to it. And all you have to do is right click, new property, display, none, and it disappears. For proof, there it is in real time. Now, all of a sudden you know what you need to do to put it into your style sheet. All you have to do is take this selector right here, put it in your CSS, give it this rule, and the control will do what you tell it to do.